This video is to answer a question brought up in my engine disassembly part one video. In the comments, a viewer mentioned that maybe it's possible that we were not getting oil flow to the rocker shaft through this groove because this groove does not line up with the same side of the head as the oil inlet. So I have not tried this yet, but all I did was loosen this T, so I'm going to try to blow some air through here. And see if we get anything coming out the other side, just to see if it's flowing at all. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a rag here so it doesn't spray everything. Okay, so that's flowing pretty good. Um, it did have a little bit of restriction before it started to flow. So after digging into this further, I do not think this plugged up first. I think that was a secondary thing. Let me show you what the primary was. Okay, this metal tube that connects to here is our oil supply tube to the cylinder head. This essentially comes from a fitting that comes directly off the oil pump. And oil would go through this tube into this T, lubricate the head, and this other side would go out to the governor assembly. When I took this apart and went to clean up some of these parts, I went to clean up this tube and noticed it was 100% plugged. I could not get any airflow through it at all. And to clean it out, I actually had to get a drill bit and drill into one of the ends, I forget which one, but one of these ends a little bit to get the, get it out. Then run wire through it and finally got bits and pieces out. And what it looked like was a fiber material, possibly little pieces of material from the oil filter. So uh, this isn't a very large tube. It's easy to plug up. This might be worth a check on a tractor that you think is running great. And it should be pretty easy to test. You could loosen up the fitting and see if oil comes out while it's running. Or even better yet, loosen up the fitting on the governor assembly to see if we're getting oil all the way that far. But hopefully that answers that. Um, I took apart, I don't have it here to take a picture of real quick, but I took apart the parts tractor cylinder head and it looked like where this hole goes in was below the stud or it was hollowed out pretty good in there so when I do the assembly video for the cylinder head I will definitely get good pictures of that and we'll talk about it then